window busted. Tonight, homeowners are trying to figure out who's terrorizing neighborhoods across Pierce County. Tonight, we're getting reports of those homes vandalized and decorations destroyed from Puyallup, Pacific, Auburn, and more. Thanks for joining us for the News at 10. I'm Jamie Tompkins. And I'm David Rose. Fox 13's Matthew Smith is talking with the victims who say this is pure heartache for them. You know, the folks that were hit, they say this was a string of vandalism incidents. It's not just one or two homes that were hit either. Here in Puyallup, they got it the worst. Somebody threw a pumpkin clean through this window, smashing out all of the glass. Kids come running up to the Gwyn's home, some with cell phones in hand. Seemingly unaware, they're being watched too. Kids do dumb things. That crossed the line. That, according to Jordan Gwyn, is the moment these kids went from smashing pumpkins to smashing her window. The youngest so afraid at the sound of the shattering glass, Jordan tells me that daughter hid. I understand that kids are going to be kids, and you know I'm fine with kids pumpkin smashing pumpkins if that's what they want to do. But the fact that you traumatized my my kids, that's that's a whole nother level for me. Of course, it didn't end here. In Pacific, these decorations were shredded. One homeowner telling us. They hit homes up and down the street. Everyone has videos, and it's like, yep, it's the same people. They did it very quick, but they did it very efficiently. Amanda's home used to be a destination local kids came to see. She estimates she lost a thousand bucks worth of inflatables, and with little time and that price tag, she can't replace it overnight. We play music, we do a whole thing, and it's just not. It's not going to be the same. We're still trying to see if police think this is one giant case with one group. Those who were hit are certain it is, based on all these videos. As for the Gwyns, they're still a bit stunned by all of this. I felt um, unsafe. I felt I was mostly concerned for my kids, you know. So for this family, no pumpkins on the porch for Halloween. But more importantly, right now, they're just worried about these kids, not just because they're frustrated with what they did. They say if these kids do this to the wrong home, you never know it could happen. Maybe a homeowner comes out and attacks the kids. Bottom line, they're hoping they figure this all out who did it and quick. In Puyallup, Matthew Smith, Fox 13 News.